so uh, baba ramdev uh, has always had this you know banter going on and even arguments you know going on against uh, the modern medical sciences and you know their style of you know treating people and you know, treating sicknesses and maybe you know selling basically medical process procedures and medicines to the uh, millions and millions of people and you know getting m- money out of uh, out of the people's pockets in in loads and on the contrary baba ramdev uh, at his time was on, always you know on the always stating uh, that uh, rather than you know going go, going for medical process pro, uh, procedures or maybe uh, uh, expensive treatments uh, you should your body should be immune to you know all such all different kinds of illnesses and uh, you like a person on its own should, should be able to you know curb uh, any deficiency in the body or maybe you know any, any if there is uh, well, only on the extreme you know only if there is any extreme uh, situation wherein you know there is no there is surgery or such uh, uh, such scenario where you know where, where you have to you have to you know uh, see see the uh, person see the see the modern day doctor only then you know there should be any uh, uh, there there should be any room given to the modern medical sciences uh, uh, otherwise it, it has to be you know it has to be the people only which on a who uh, on a daily basis should perform you know exercises who should remain fit and you know keep each and every uh, organ in the body fit you know uh, by regularly performing you know uh, yoga asanas and uh, pranayam so baba ramdev uh, yoga asanas people knew even i i had you know what the basic bhujanga asanas because somewhere the even in school you know some asanas were being taught but that was only limited to the uh, physical posture uh, deep breathing was there but not on the scale with what baba ramdev taught and pranayam was very uh, isolated that time they only specified you know uh, yoga especially used to teach that so uh, but on the contrary when when on the television when uh, baba ramdev uh, came came on you know came appearing and uh, delivered his speeches upon you know the importance of pranayam and you know how could a pranayam you know uh, uh, elevate your senses how could how does pranayam you know helps in curbing each and every illness which is present in the body or which could you know uh, which could take over uh, any part of the body or any organ and from it may it be the the hair your skin may it be your or any other organ may it be you know or the worst of the disease also you know there is a possibility that you know the breathing exercises that is prana that is you know the the life which you know which which is there you know inside in 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 the oxygen you know that's actually the life you know uh, that's where you know the the life originates you know only it's only the oxygen when it goes into your each and every cell then only you know a person is able to uh, uh, generate energy so so he uh, so uh, so at the time when you know my many of my family members you know they, they used to perform the breathing exercises may be alulom vilom uh, kapal bhati utkit and brahmri and you know normal deep deep breaths and you know uh, so, so such what such was the uh, so that was the time when you know i uh, got to know yoga in a different way and being in the sports and i being also uh, had this, had this interest to you know learn and learn and try different uh, uh uh exercises so pranayam was a part of it and that was the time when you know, when i was in my teen so that was the time when the immense chem- chemical changes also takes place in the body as per the science there is a immense amount of hormones which are produced and that is also a time of dilemma so it could it's like a loaded gun you know it could uh, it could just uh, uh, you know uh, uh, blast off you know anywhere around also it could also in turn you know blast the gun itself so it's like a loaded gun which uh, like so there, there's a dilemma there you know nothing is you know black and white so you have you have the hormone you know buzzing around hormone you know just uh, brewing through your different glands and you are in, you are in the early stages of your you know uh, adolescence and that was that is the time when or there is always a, a dilemma you know of uh, you know balancing out uh, uh, your self dignity your 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 own charm your respect 
uh, to balancing out your your craziness your you know your energetic your uh, energetic levels or your creativity so you have to balance that dilemma out of you know like the extreme the craziness the creativity and the the self dignity or the the self self uh, room which has to be uh, there you know the the self behavior and discipline so uh, that gray, that gray area is always there when a when a, a person reaches its, uh, his or her adolescence so that time you know it's apart from that there, there are other frequencies also and there are immense amount of other energy also which would want to you know get you in depression or their situation when you might get in depression anxiety and what not you know uh, headaches or stress there is stress for studies also stress stress for other kinds of you know uh, leveling up other kind of you know uh, challenges also which are there and socializing and what not so that is the age when hu- human mind is at its uh, craziest uh, uh, craziest burst so 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 that to that is when that but for my uh, as per as what my story goes like i was i, ha- I had uh, i had some stress level i don't know how because th- that was the age when uh, you know also i also I, somewhere you know I was going into some depressive vibes or maybe anxiety it, uh, although i was regularly active and you know uh, my studies and physical activity on the contrary there was some you know uh, some part of my gland which also had a facing you know anxiety and depression issues which which you never know you know it could be anywhere you know the situation uh, sometimes situation is, is 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 created in such a manner that it takes you down also it could uh, get you out also it's nothing is in your hand but what is in your hand to is to you know do yoga pranayam that that is where you know you are able to somewhat keep a check over your, uh, your gland your breaths your uh, your uh, your style of thinking and uh, so there is no so you could you could keep a check you know there is not no excessive amount of chemicals which are released from your gland so that uh, you know you, you are in balance you are stable mentally and you know physically and you know you are you have that that sense of thought you know that back of the mind the sense of thought that yeah somewhere this side does you know somewhere this side of the dilemma it's absolutely fine and some there's this is the particular uh, periphery within, within which you know you could wander around so that sense you know is actually actually could come you know after your uh, mastering upon these uh, breathing exercises and regular uh, yoga which you know actually calms down your uh, uh, calms down your senses so that is how you know that is what my perspective of yoga uh, seems like and then you know but but you know in school you know in school or uh, i was in hostel also and even uh, at coming coming back to home you know up till the 12th standard you know i there was physical activities but there was no stretching happening and there was no time table so there was very very careless manner in which you know uh, i was dealing with my physical body and then after when i came into college you know i had time to uh, rethink and you know uh, uh, reschedule my uh, 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 my, my body and that is when i thought you know my muscles had become too stuff because after runs and all i, I didn't used to uh, cool down or maybe you know stretch so my muscles have become too i was not at all flexible so that is when my other side of uh, yoga journey started but at that it was just limited to some you know alulom vilom or deep breaths or kapalbhati so then then in college you know whenever i used to get time of course in the college you also have you know other distractions there like partying you know maybe smoking or drinking a day and each one of us has to you know try it once and you know, of course if you keep it in balance that's absolutely fine uh, but uh, like you know you, like none of us w- should be on the extreme like it, sh- it should have the criteria has to be you know has to maintain some equilibrium you know you should try things out also you should have fun also on the contrary you should keep them in check so that was that was how you know i used to manage by uh, schedule and you know uh, uh, the, the daily uh, like daily uh, uh, life cycle so h- here onwards you know i started doing stretches also and uh, there were asanas also so again you know i just went on the internet you know i thought you know which which all asanas are there so uh, which i could you know do while stretching so the, those particular asanas i uh, i also tried them inculcating in my schedule those were uh, the, of course vajrasan that was that was that helped me a lot you know balancing my the the uh, the 
बैलेंसिंग आउट में है ना डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड ऑफ कोर्स ऑल्सो हैव हैज अ गुड बूस्ट ओवर योर द कोर एरिया देन देर वॉज दिस चक्रासन देन दे उत्तरा देर दिस सर्वांग आसन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आसन सर्वांग आसन एंड देन दिस इज शव आसन मरगट आसन एंड देन दिस इज Uh, and many of such asana i am not able to you know recollect all the names but the one of the best which i had liked were these were the tad asan like you know like you just do this and uh, there is also so so all of these you know had and of course chakrasan was i was, wasn't the one which I, uh, i was able to perform well so i kept on doing it you know regularly on, on you know as, as in when i woke up in the morning i used to try these asanas along with the breathing exercise I just stretch myself. So, chakrasan developed in a span of around one year.